An elderly couple was driving home at night. They were returning from a marriage ceremony that they had gone to attend. It was raining torrentially and they had waited quite for some time to the so that the rain subsided a little bit but it was not just not possible and it was not possible for them to wait a little longer. So they had no other option but to begin their journey home. Now it was about 12.30 or 12.45 as you can imagine. So both the, the couple decided to start their journey. Now as they were driving, it was raining cats and dogs you can say. Everywhere it was absolutely white. There was so much of rain, so much of rain. They couldn't see anything outside. And there was uh, their uh, path to their house was through a highway. And as you all know, the highways are not always very well lit. So what they could see is only a little portion of the road that their uh, headlights could illuminate. So they didn't have any option but to drive slowly as there was the risk of skidding. But they went on and on and the wipers also couldn't keep up with the force of the rain. But since they were quite elderly, they had to not speed up and go slowly. Now as they were driving home, it was pitch dark outside. You couldn't see anything. After some time, they, in front of their uh, car, they spotted a man wearing white clothes. An old man. He was quite old and bent. He was wearing white clothes which was totally drenched. And he was totally drenched also. He, was hand, he had a walking stick in his hand and with the other hand he was trying to stop the vehicle. So at first the couple did not want to stop since it was so late and they were wondering what this old man was doing at this time of the night all alone on this highway. But uh, they, since they were also quite elderly, so after a few minutes, few seconds, the wife told the husband, let us just uh, stop and ask what's the problem. So unwillingly, the husband stopped in front of him, in front of the old man on the, on the road and just rolled down the passenger side window a little bit and asked him what the matter was. The man gave a very weird answer that he was stranded there and he didn't know how to get home so he was asking for a lift. The man on the, in the car asked him where was he about, where was he supposed to be going? So the old man he said that his house was along the um, highway anywhere uh, near the highway he could get down and then he would he could go back to his house so if the man would be good and kind enough to give him a lift thinking a little about it the husband agreed opened the back seat uh, window um, yes back seat door and allowed the man inside the back seat was totally drenched in um, water this man was also he had water all over himself, so the seat, the portion where he had kept his legs, everything was totally wet. So anyway, so as they were driving, the man, the man, uh, the driver, and the person, the old person, he started talking to the man on the road. He asked where he was going, why was he at this time uh, standing in such a place, etc. He tried to make some conversation, but. The conversation just did not happen as the old man answered in monosyllables and he wasn't very willing to 
talk. Suddenly the wife started getting very odd vibes from this person. So she nudged the husband and told him that uh, she didn't want this man in the car anymore somehow. She felt she didn't, there was something wrong somewhere. The, anyway, during this time, after about 10-15 minutes, the man in the back seat pointed to a place on the highway and told the man, uh, the husband, that there was this point where he could stop the car so that he could get down. So the husband willingly, most willingly, he stopped the car at that place. That place wasn't very much lit. There was one street light there, but that of course wasn't much enough. And it was raining, it was still raining. And that uh, rain was also very, very torrential yet. It hadn't stopped a bit. So as they stopped the car, the man bent back to open the passenger side door. As he bent back to open the, uh, open the uh, passenger door, there was no one inside the car. The first the man thought, was he dreaming? Did he really not see the person or did he, was he paranoid or what was happening? Was he imagining it? So he gave a very questionable glance to his wife and his wife was also very puzzled. What's wrong? So they both started looking properly at the back seat. They could see the water puddle at the back. But there was no one in the car. Both the doors were totally locked, central locked. Central locking system was there and there was no one in the car at all. So a person couldn't get down without opening the door, is it? Then what was it? Did they imagine it? Were they paranoid? And paranoid? And a chill ran down their spines. And both the people, both the, uh, the, couple, the couple in fact, really didn't know how to react. And whether they were imagining it or what was it. They were so, so puzzled and they were afraid also. Very, very scared. And they didn't have the courage to sit back and, and find out what the reason was getting out of the car and seeing what was, the, what was the situation like. So they immediately started the car and went off. So where was this man? Was the man really there? Was he there on the road? Or was it a uh, product of imagination? What was it? It is really a big question. So... There is no answer to it. If you people have any answer to this, could you kindly let us know? Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel Hana Tales. Comment, share, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos.